Hey guys. Hi guys. All right, so we got some more Q-Figs to look at today. These are a couple ones that we're really excited about. This is actually the Q-Fig that I saw that made me look into Q-Fig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as I saw this one, I was kind of like, wait, what are these now? Yeah, um, really cool. I mean, if you've seen our video, we'll put it up here if you guys want to watch it. Or I guess over here, technically. I don't know, whatever. Somewhere. We had a video not long ago where we showed <laughs> off some of the new Q-Fig stuff. And uh, I think I might have talked about this one in that video. Maybe not. Did. Either way, this is one of my favorite ones that have come out. So let's take a look at it. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm talking about Mr. Freeze. <laughs> I guess I should tell you that. I don't Probably know. a good idea. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now, the thing I like about this Q-Fig so much is that he, it's its fun. I mean, it's so fun. And, mm -hmm. and it's got three different pieces of plastic touching each other. And I know that sounds weird. It may be a little sexual, but it's cool. <laughs> oh my god. And, and here's what I mean. So you can see Mr. Freeze, okay? You got his head in there and he's got his tongue out on the glass and the glass is a little frosted his Definitely. dome is a little frosted <laughs> and then he has the ice cream cone <laughs> how oh funny okay so that's what i like that's super fun that is that's something you would never ever see no definitely in the not. mr free because you know you're always thinking of mr freeze as serious mm -hmm. a scientist trying to figure out how to save his wife you know right. that's that's what you think you this never is so fun yeah it's so uh just fun yeah i mean yeah. i don't know what other word to use it's just very fun very mm -hmm. kitty he's very, very playful I like it. it it's just really really awesome mm -hmm. and that's kind of what i like about these cute now, the base on this one is actually maybe one of the more boring, I should say, yeah, I a lot of the Q-Figs. it's very simple. Yeah, Q-Fig has really been, or Quantum Mechanics, just to say, has really got some crazy bases on some of these. Mm -hmm. This one's very simple. He's just standing there, licking his ice cream. Sort of like the guy on Christmas Story where he licks the flagpole. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. it's cold in there, so I wonder if his tongue is stuck to the glass oh, or anything. Oh, maybe so. I feel like if they would have done too much to the base, it would have taken away from the, the simple yeah. joy of him licking the ice cream cone. I, I think so that's I think probably, probably like, what their idea was, yeah. is to make it pretty simple. Well, you want your eyes drawn to his face, not to the base, so I think that that's part of why they did that. The, reason, the reason I like this design so much is it's very reminiscent to the Batman the Animated Series, Mr. Freeze. Mm -hmm. That was actually one of my favorite Mr. Freeze designs. Besides, and I know what you guys are going to say, <laughs> besides the Arnold Schwarzenegger, I don't oh care. Gosh, that was yeah. awesome. He was so stupid. <laughs> like, that he will was. go down in history as, whoa, like that belongs in the 66 Batman. You're series. right, Like, it, it was so campy and so hilarious. You're like, whoa. Yeah. But you really got to appreciate the detail. Yeah, there's a whole lot of detail in it. It was just a little goofy for me. So. <laughs> what was a dinosaur? He's like, uh, it, it, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> My favorite scene in the movie, though, besides, obviously, everyone knows the dinosaur theme where he freezes the dinosaur or whatever. Yeah. But or he says, oh, I'm going to take you back. I don't know. That was a terrible Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Whoa. But yeah, he was talking about, like, I'm going to take you back to the Ice Age or something. It was awful. But my favorite yeah. scene was when he freezes Robin. And then Batman takes Robin's frozen body, and he's frozen, yeah. and puts him in a water bath that's just kind of randomly right. there. And then takes his laser and <laughs> warms the water up. <laughs> <laughs> that was falls so out. corny. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. Yeah. So, yeah, anyways, There's Mr. Freeze. A, there are a lot of good moments like that in that movie. <laughs> oh, his helmet comes off. That's oh, neat. So, that's fun. Yeah, that is fun. Just little surprises. Yeah. Okay. All right, another Mr. Freeze. I've talked about that. I just really like Mr. Freeze as a character. He's really cool. Scott Snyder and all them, when they have mm -hmm. him in there, the game is really good when he was in the Arkham games. Yes, you're right. I really like Mr. Freeze, and I wish the DC, I'm sorry, I know I'm going to change it, <laughs> but I really wish the DC Universe universe would sort of go back into Mr. Freeze. Yeah. If they could have picked one kid, if Nolan, so, so Chris Nolan, Christopher Nolan is sort of the god to me as far as Batman movies, like everything he made was just like, that is what I love, you know? Mm -hmm. um, I just, that's the one character I wish he would have touched on. Yeah, I know definitely. there were I know there were talks of uh, Johnny Depp being the Riddler. That would have been so one. great, guys. See, I would have been afraid of that. That seems like it could have gone into sort of the tacky realm. Because after I saw Willy Wonka, I checked out with, with him for good. Really? I, yeah. I still love Johnny Depp. I think he's great. He's a fun actor. He's, sometimes he's a little wild and crazy, but I really <laughs> yeah. enjoy him. I think he would have done a great mm -hmm. job. Riddler is so... So inside of his brain all the time and crazy, I would have well, loved to okay. see what Johnny Depp would have done. Think of that. that though, okay? You know what Johnny Depp would have done the character. Sort of midway between Jim Carrey and Willy Wonka. That's what he would have done. And I think I'd be okay with that. Oh god no. <laughs> Gotham. Is that not a perfect Riddler? Yes, that is a perfect Riddler, you're right. However, That's how you do Riddler. I think Johnny Depp would have been Gorshin. fantastic because, you know, he's pretty to look at. <laughs> Just because he found the fountain of youth does not make him a good actor. Still or makes Riddler. him a pretty actor. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into the other one. Your favorite character, I guess, or villain. Well, up next, my favorite villain, of course. If you don't know this, I mean, where you been? It's Harley Quinn. I like the side of the box. I love the side of this box. 
I'm not gonna get this right, but you know, we're bad guys. It's what we do. We're bad guys. It's what we do. That was one of my favorite lines in the entire movie as she's stealing the pocketbook. I'm like, you go, girl. <laughs> Everybody hates Suicide Squad, but I liked it for what I it was. I so loved it. The music, the tackiness, everything about Suicide Squad, I really enjoyed. I, it. I liked it. And I loved Joker. I thought Jared Leto did a great job. I know a lot of people are hating on him for it. I don't think he's a bad actor, and I don't think he no. did bad. I just don't know if the sort of the direction they're taking the him in. The extended cut was much well, better. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, what do we got? Well, let's go ahead and take her out of her package. I like how the back of this box has like a cut. Oh, it comes out! The back of the box has a nice little display that looks like the shirt she wears with yeah. Daddy's Little Monster. And then on the back, it has like an actual picture, like a little illustration, and then instructions if you're not sure how to put the things together. I guess I didn't even notice that on mine. Yeah, I got a frozen one, but no picture of it. Icicles! This is probably one of my favorite Q-Figs they've done because I love how like, she has like the smoke coming off of her bat. It's, like in that scene where yeah. she's using her bat like as a gun and she's firing <laughs> yeah. it. That was so epic, and I'm glad that they added that little detail yeah, to Yeah, it's like this. in her mind, right? Yes, <laughs> exactly. She has that crazy maniacal smile. Her eyes are very excited and pretty. I really enjoy this. And the base. And the base is really nice. You have the property of Joker, which is very similar to the back of her jacket. It's just really nicely done. Yeah, I mean, this is what we've been liking Q-Figs for. Yes. The little details. Now, we didn't get that with Mr. Freeze. He sort of had a planar base, just black, nothing special. Where this is what we normally see from Cube Fig. Yes. Something a little special. One of my favorite things about these is how they set the scene. I know I've said yeah. it before, but every single one is always a different scene. It's not going to be well, the same thing repeated. They tell you who the characters are. Right, exactly. Without you see the even personality. knowing. Them. Yeah, you don't maybe you don't know them, or maybe you do like them. Mm -hmm. You see their personality, and if you like them, right. if you're somebody who doesn't know the character, just a casual you just person. think Oh, okay, so that person likes to pretend their baseball bat is a, a shotgun. Gun. It's a weapon. <laughs> yeah. Now, with Mr. Freeze, you would think, oh, he's a playful person, which he's mm -hmm. not. not. Not even close. But it's no, playful and fun, and that's what I like about it. Alrighty, so that was a little showcase of a couple new Q-Figs, Mr. Freeze and Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Once again, this is a line we're going to start collecting, and you'll probably see more of them on the channel. Thanks again, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.